I'm Maria Taylor from Hill Place Bulldogs. Uh, we're doing this video absolutely horrified at the amount of surgery that pet bulldogs are put through. Show breeders aren't doing this surgery because it's not necessary. I can only think people take their eight week old puppy into vets that aren't experienced with bulldogs. The vet is horrified that they've got a bulldog, tells them the bulldog can't breathe and encourages them to have operations. And because the vet is like God, um, they do the operations. Some of these bulldogs aren't coming through the surgery and a lot of them are being operated on for no reason whatsoever. Uh, this is Barbie, she's going to help us today. Um, a lot of the bulldogs, one of the first things, the vet says they can't breathe. Well, thousands of them breathe quite fine. They are a utility breed, they're not a greyhound, they're for loving and cuddling. Um, a lot of them go for a pallet trim, soft pallet trim. Um, dogs like this don't need that surgery. It's dogs that are passing out, dogs that are unable to be exercised at all, dogs that are bringing up white throth. They need to be seen by a bulldog specialist vet to see if they need their pallet done. But dogs that can run around and lead a normal life do not need that surgery. One of the other popular surgeries is to open up the nostrils. Um, that's a normal bulldog nose. Some can have more open nostrils, some are more stenosed. Um, if you open that up, it's still it's the pipes that are further down. You can't open those up. So having that done, I think, is just a waste of time. It's like a fashion thing to have this surgery done. Another one is a facelift. Very popular, they like doing that. Um, some vets have even said this nose roll interferes with the dog's breathing, which is absolute rubbish. Um, dog's nose roll, it shouldn't need to be removed, it needs to be cleaned. You bought the dog with wrinkles, you have to maintain it and clean it. So these wrinkles have to be kept clean. Um, another one is eyes. If a dog has very, very bad eyes, it will keep getting ulcers in the eye, the eye will be soaking wet, there will be horrific tear stains. Then those dogs need to be seen by a bulldog specialist vet to see if they may need surgery for entrophion or it may just be a few lashes, which is minor. Um, you can actually tweezer them out yourself if that is the case. Um, but you need to see a bulldog specialist vet. These dogs don't need all this removed, they don't need this removed, it just needs cleaning. Another very popular one is the tails. Um, we're lucky Barbie's got a lovely tail and that's the sort of tail you want. If you've got a screw tail, that needs to be kept clean and you have to do that probably weekly and just keep an eye on it. And if the dog does get infected, then the dog may require antibiotics. It's very rare, it actually requires removal. Um, we've had one done in 25 years. Um, on the odd occasion, you might get one that spins and the bone goes back in to the body. And if that is the case and it can't be maintained by cleaning, then maybe that requires surgery, but that's very, very rare. Um, lameness in bulldogs, they can, they're quite a hefty breed. They don't need to be jumping up and down. If they do jump, they can sometimes strain their limbs. They don't need to be rushed to the vets on a Sunday afternoon. Just rest them. Um, and see how they go. Same with uh, cruciate ligaments, they start hopping on the back leg and they're up on the toes. They can actually stretch the cruciate ligament in the hind leg. Just rest them. We might need anti-inflammatories from the vets, but it don't need to be rushed in for surgery if it's just strained, because um, quite often just resting will let that get better. Spaying and neutering, don't be pushed into having your dog spayed or neutered um, unless it's necessary. Um, if it fits in with your lifestyle, it has to be done fair enough. But don't think just because you don't have your dog neutered that it's going to catch, get cancer, uh, wound infections and mammary tumours. We've only sp uh, spayed probably three in 25 years. Um, it is rare to get the problem. I reckon with the male males being um, castrated, um, the chance of them getting cancer is about 1% and that's why they're castrated in case they get cancer. Well, um, the amount of dogs dying under anaesthetic is also about 1%. Um, don't castrate a male dog before he's 18 months of age because he might not mature as nicely as he should. The bitches, they should at least have their first season. Um, 
if you're worried about a bitch being in season and you can't cope with it, well, perhaps you shouldn't have a, a female because um, it's not any bother. We don't find the dogs unhealthy. Um, we look after hundreds and hundreds of bulldogs. We rarely have a problem. We do think vets make too much of a fuss about them. I think it's very important to stick to a bulldog specialist vet. They're very full of common sense. They're not uh, doing more than any other vet. They're actually doing less. They're seeing what's in front of them. They're not performing unnecessary operations. Cherry eye, very common in bulldogs. We wish it wasn't. We were trying to breed it out. Um, some people are going to the vets. Yes, it's got cherry eye and they're coming home with a tube of cream. Your tube of cream won't fix your cherry eye. If you get cherry eye, if you see it straight away, it's a pink lump in the corner of the eye. Push the eyelid over, over the top of it and push it back down into the socket. If it's left out, it will swell um, and then it won't go back in. Then your options are you can either stitch it back or have it cut out. Um, a lot of people go for the stitch, which means the dog's got to have general anaesthetic, it's got to stay in at the vets. Um, very frequently the stitch comes undone and then the dog has to go back in, general anaesthetic, um, stay in again and it can come undone again. A lot of bulldog breeders go for cutting out. Um, I don't think the Royal Veterinary College likes it. Um, tried and tested, um, we find it works very well. The pup is sedated, has a local anaesthetic, it's snipped out, cauterised, puppy is brought back round and puppy's on its way home in 15 minutes. Um, some vets say it causes dry eye, there's not been any surveys done on that and um, bulldogs can get dry eye anyway. And sometimes by the time they finish stitching it back in two or three times at a fast amount of money, um, those dogs' eyes are so trashed, um, I think that can actually make it worse. If you have any problems with your bulldog, um, or you're unsure, any questions, get back to a bulldog breeder, someone that's had years and years of experience of great many bulldogs, or perhaps Bulldog Rescue, or, or one Edward Foundation. Um, these dogs are just being put through so much surgery, which is unnecessary. It's not kind to the dogs. You think of the dog's welfare. Um, a lot of vets are making a lot of money out of these dogs. And as I said, some dogs are not surviving the surgery. Um, don't, you know, if they're like this, she doesn't need surgery. And I would take her to some vets and they would say she does. Um, think of your dog first. Um, always experienced bulldog breeders out there to help people out. Really nice people. And they don't want to see the dog suffer.